What's up, everybody, and welcome back to an all-new episode of Brent Watches Crusade for the first time. Today, I am diving into what we're calling Episode 7. I think Amazon has this listed as, like, Episode 12 or something like that. I don't even know where this is in the DVD. We're watching it in the seventh position. It's called Visitors from Down the Street. My prediction about this episode was it's time to sort of take a time out from the seriousness of everything and have like a, a lighthearted comedy episode, probably get some crossover characters from Babylon 5, time to really tie it in. Maybe we get to see Lockley for the first time. We know she's in the credits and we're like halfway through the show and we haven't seen her yet. So we'll see what happens. We'll jump in. Is that what happens at all? Watch this be like a completely super serious episode or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Is that how it's all going to go down? I have no idea. You guys probably do, or at least some of you guys do. I know some of you out there have never seen the show. You're watching it for the first time with me, to which I'd say, welcome along the journey. It's pretty good so far, right? Uh, hey, listen, while you're here, do me a favor. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, leave a comment down below. would love to know what you guys think of this episode as we go through it. Also, uh, if you want to catch the full unedited version of this video, as well as Jeff's reaction videos, and actually we've got a whole mess of other reaction stuff that we're doing over at the Patreon page. Head over there, patreon.com slash Babylon 5 first. You guys can check out all of that over there. Find out how you can connect, how you can connect with Jeff and I on a, a little bit of a deeper level as well. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into this episode, Visitors from Down the Street. Mira Hadani Sector. Okay. 2.37. Are we going to get a timeline of the day? I don't. We're not there yet. Every time I see this, I expect to see Bester show up or Garibaldi did you smell that I didn't smell anything <laughs> what do you mean you didn't smell that I don't smell anything you're a telepath I don't use my abilities unless required to by the new regulation <sighs> yes captain you need it on the bridge all right I'm on my way revised destination bridge deck confirmed send out another crew I want that smell located identified and removed I sir what smell sir Oh, we get a classic UFO. It's 12 meters in diameter. Markings and distress signal would seem to indicate a life pod. Not like any we've seen before. Oh, we've seen it. Looks like a first contact situation. Aye, sir. We can't leave him out here to die, Lieutenant. This show's getting more and more Star Trek, I think, every episode. I love it. Not just the Star Trek thing. I just, I like when humans be humans. You know, like when we do the good thing. Like we can't leave them here to die. Of course, we're probably being stupid and we should have left him there. Just making a guess. We should have left him there. Dude, if that opens up and Chewie and Han Solo come flying out of there. All right, why are their uniforms different than Gideon's? Uh oh, there we go. Fish face with a suit on. A three piece suit? What? Who are you? Okay. Matthew Gideon, Captain. Anywhere I got to tell you guys. Fish face in a three-piece suit. Oh man, I I hope I hope that this is a comedy because this is exactly what it's setting itself up to be. I want my ship recharged and clear to leave. We can do that. I don't want him. <laughs> that we can't do. Fine. Well, I'll take somebody else. But one of you is going with me. Why? Why are you doing this? We just saved your life. Is don't he finally using his telepathic thing? Do not make me disappear like everyone else. I'm going back, and this time I'm taking proof. What proof? He is. Did you have a chance to look around while you were in there? Negative. Projection is allowed under defense protocol, but alien or human, unauthorized scans are not permitted. I wouldn't expect you to do a full scan, just a sense of the room, so to speak. Showing that we can obey the new regs is all that stands between us and the creation of a new Psychor. I'm not going to be the one to mess that up. Psychor is done. All I got were emotions, determined and deeply frightened. Of what? Us. You know, they always say animals are more frightened of you than you are of them. That person's never met a grizzly bear. Just saying. I don't like the makeup that like comes down here and then allows their jaw to keep moving freely. Like, I get it's what they're supposed to look like, but it just, you, you'd like see the mask of the makeup there. I, I've never liked that. Is this old film noir? What are we doing? 
All right. So one of the notes I just made is kind of looking at this like black and white film noir. I'm I'm reminded of the story. I think Star Trek did it once. Um, Galaxy Quest. It was Galaxy Quest that really did it, where an alien culture picks up like old transmissions from Earth and they begin uh, emulating culture. Actually, I think Star Trek did that a few times. Once in Prodigy it was done really, really well, but I'm pretty sure we've seen that in other places too. So here we go. Lisa. Ducati, is that you? They're watching. I had to check just oh, in case they like, left anything behind. Like gills Ducati, or something. they burnt the files. Well, you always said you wanted to go places you've never been. What are you talking about? Look. We can't go home, and we can't go to the authorities without the proof. That's not Byron, is it? We can go where we can find the proof. Where's that? Is that Byron? Out there. Meet me in half an hour in the usual place. I'll take it from there. Is that Byron? I so want to go to IMDb and look this up right now. Or like go to like the Wiki page or whatever and, and see if I can find out. All right, I want to know about this culture. I want to know about these, these folks. I'm super into it. These aliens really do exist. That I've always known. What we have to do now is make sure we can keep on existing. You know, after seeing such great makeup, particularly with Jakar, full face, full all of that great makeup with Jakar for so long in a Babylon 5, this is not great makeup. Like, you can see the mask. You can see where it is. You see the smoothness uh, of every Like, it, it's not moving. It's not emoting. It, it, I I think it's just the contrast of how good it was with Jakar, specifically Jakar. I, I get it. They're two different productions, but still. I'm deeply moved by your desire to help us. It's a welcome and almost convincing change of heart. I, I don't think it's Byron. But given our anymore. past history, you'll forgive me if I don't believe you. What past, past history? history? Yeah. Your people have been visiting my planet for centuries. Sure, it's not the other way around. Lives, devastated parts of my world, and help create certain high-placed agencies within the government to conceal those facts. I've is dedicated this, my life. This is a twist on alien to exposing invasions this of Earth, right? Of silence. This is a drawing made by a witness when one of the ships crashed in the desert area on our world. Area 51. They were six foot tall, had hair on their heads, and small round eyes. Our government tried to dismiss the whole thing, said it was just a, a weather balloon. You've heard this story. Somewhere. <laughs> Go on. Well, they tried to cover it up, but this time we had physical I'm, evidence. I'm kind of with this episode right now. We found this at the scene of the crash. We think it's some kind of weapon or recreational device, maybe. Is it a golf club? Both, actually. Depending on how the game goes. <laughs> and there's more. What I don't understand is where do you fit in all of this? Visitors from down the street. I've been on the trail of these sightings for years. Trying to prove that aliens are interfering with the development of my world. The proof started mounting up until. Focus. Focus. Until we had to go. Focus. Oh, she shot him. Throw him out the window. The one with the X on it. Uh-oh. Got him one. It's on his neck. What is that? Oh. Oh. We weren't sure what it meant, but someone obviously thought we were getting too close to the truth. And our lives were in danger. What's funny is, is you take off that other mask and there's actually another human face under there. Come to my world. Your arrival there will give us all the proof we've been waiting for. Or they'll try to shoot us out of the sky. All right. <laughs> See, I don't believe in so many years that we're still going to have the same flag from the United States. First of all, I, I, I don't know that the countries are still the same at all here in the future. I'm, pr I'm pretty British sure they're not. Captain, but also, surely we'd have more states. Or the country will split or whatever. Unknown. Hmm. Is that an official report or is that something from the ship? Alien ship still on approach. You Music still whack. Me? Unnecessary, sir. They're hailing us. I believe you have intercepted uh, two of mm, our citizens. Such as, uh, we would like uh, you to uh, return uh, them to uh, us uh, at your first. Uh, uh, May I ask why? 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 Uh, to execute uh, them, uh, of course. Uh, 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 oh, oh. 
so bad. Refresh me, Lieutenant. How did we get in the middle of this again? No good deed goes unpunished. No good oh, deed goes unpunished. Ah, Kill the witch. Agent Kendar, welcome to the Excalibur. The ship that brought me here is one of only a few we've built so far, none of which are capable of entering hyperspace. You know, I know there's literally nothing they could do about this on the makeup front and stuff, but just the way they're shooting this, his teeth and that tongue and the in, inside of his mouth are completely eliminating his makeup for me. Like it is so far, it's so taking me out of this makeup job and, and, and making it hard to suspend disbelief that this guy's an actual alien. Like, and the way I'm talking, yeah, we are uh, limited to our own small system. <laughs> Will all become clear. Soon enough, Captain. Soon enough, Captain. I'm sorry, I can't stop. That's why I wanted to see you all together. Uh-oh. Oh, no. You don't want to be in here, yo. That's going to come flying by. Yeah, you better watch it. You better get down. Well, look on the bright side. If we die here, at least we'll take him with us. This is a bright side? Well, okay, granted, it's not She's much, a redhead. But right now, a quick death is about all we got left to hope for. There's a lot here that doesn't make sense. But before this is over, it will make sense, or I will have someone's hide hanging on my office wall. I hope it does, because I'm kind of like... the sir. They're on a level 14 tube. All right, get a tactical team up there in one of the bullet cars. All right, I'm hey, listen, I'm digging this episode, but I'm also like, all right, let's let's get to it. I want to know I, I need more answers as far as what's going on. The seals on this waste disposal tube are loose. Every time the bullet car comes by, it probably shakes the whole thing loose a little bit more. I couldn't be that loose. Wait, Lieutenant, I'm looking right at it. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh! 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 On the other hand, keep climbing. Oh! <laughs> oh. Hi, sir. Oh. oh no! You smell something? Yes. Oh, oh it smells like right shit. <laughs> That's far enough. <laughs> they repelled down. Put the gun ah. down. Without him, we'll never get uh. him. Wrong. You put the gun down and we'll make sure you get out of here safely. Frankly, the only thing I want is for the two of you to get the, the hell, hell off, off my ship, ship as fast as possible and take your conspiracies with you. If we get out of this episode and we don't actually have answers as to what's going on on their planet, I'm going to be so mad. Hey, Gary, just stand there while we blow this fan in your face and look ominously around. It doesn't matter if they believe us. Sooner or later, the truth's going to come out. The truth is... Out. Of fashion. Is that thing gonna blow up now? Because we saw that a few weeks ago. And you were never in any danger? None whatsoever. My mission here is finished, and I can answer all your questions now. Okay, you please. See, my people have a long history of suspicion and paranoia, which has Sounds led like to an equally Romulans. long history of wars that started when our government failed to live up to a promise. Once my people find someone to blame, that someone usually ends up dead. So what does that have to do with us? About 200 years ago, we first picked up communications from other worlds. Then it hit us, aliens or outsiders, as my people call your kind, were the perfect scapegoats for our internal problems. Then the sightings, the evidence, it was all created by you. You set us up. I assure you it was nothing personal. We used it to create a consistent field to the sightings, which we staged and then adamantly denied afterwards. The more you make a big deal out of denying something, the more people think it must be true. Exactly. That's what led us here lately. He's been feeling frustrated. They're giving their people a common Nothing enemy. Nothing ever leads anywhere. One thing I must say, in order to create the illusion of interference by your race, I had to study your culture very carefully. It has much to commend it. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> Ice cream. Goodbye, Captain. Thanks for all your help. Dude, he's walking out of there. He should have, like, sunglasses come down, and, like, he's got the cigarette popping out of his mouth. That needs to be the end of the episode right there. They don't need this. That should, that should be where the episode ends, right there. Just within firing range. Sir, we're not going to... Attack? Negative. 
The only thing that we're going to attack is a lie. I've loaded See, up 20 of our planetary He does not have the right to do this. The latest version of the Interstellar Encyclopedia and the full record of everything that happened here after Kendar and the others came aboard. We're going to blow this so-called conspiracy wide open. He does not have the right to do this. Program the control he should not do to this. set the probes down in safe areas near major population centers. Why? Maybe because this whole thing offends my sense of honesty. No, you Maybe just don't like being sooner or later we'll have official through. contact with these people and I don't want Earth being blamed for something that we didn't do. But mainly, I don't like being played with, used or manipulated and this should communicate that. I get that feeling. Clearly. I get that. And he's probably going to say what I'm saying. I get that. They still don't have a right to do this. They, uh uh doing this we're interfering with their culture. Yep, that's right. Probably. Screw them. With a glass of iced tea. He's got the little pinky. I hope that's sweet iced tea. They really got lemons on the Excalibur. Like fresh lemons like that. All right. So visitors from down the street. I'm not sure about the down the street part, but you know, this was a fun episode Right up for me to about the 30 minute mark when I was like, okay, I need the answers. I, they, they continue to drag this out more and more and more, but now I need the answers. We eventually got the answers in an exposition dump here at the very end of the episode. And I thought he just should have walked away like that. But then Gideon goes and shows up and, and drops all the information. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm immediately against it, but also I get where Gideon's coming from. There is a point of like, eventually their race is going to become a spacefaring race to the point where they're out there actually meeting other other races and you don't want them eventually coming across humans being like oh you're the bad guy and immediately starting war you don't want that but i don't know there's just got to be something something else uh to do here basically what he's doing is 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 he's that that's that's my problem he's breaking up the conspiracy without putting anything in its place to prevent the civil wars like that the the conspiracy stuff is there for a reason and he's just getting rid of the conspiracy saying, oh, well, the truth will take care of itself. No, the, the truth is going to reinstitute civil wars and and bring those pieces of their culture back around. So I don't like what he did. Anyway, I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to think about this a little bit more. Jeff and I are going to get together later this week and we'll talk about this. Uh, so make sure you join us on Monday when that uh, main episode comes out. And uh, yeah, hey, listen, like I said, if you want the full unedited version of this video or Jeff's reaction to this episode, head over to patreon.com slash Babylon 5 first. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, all that sort of stuff. And until next time, guys, take care.